Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The armored fighting vehicles of Indian Army are currently protected by passive and reactive armor solutions. However, they are still not effective against the latest generation anti-tank ammunition with top attack capabilities. Therefore, it is required to develop a new innovative solution to provide survivability against ever-increasing lethality of anti-tank armor threats as the weight of current generation tanks have already reached their limit. The active production system should be able to neutralize or defeat the incoming threats before they hit the tank by automatically acquiring, tracking and responding with countermeasure kinetic or explosive means to neutralize the anti-armor threats. Now, in order to achieve that, in February 2021, the Defense Acquisition Council has cleared a proposal to upgrade the protection levels of over 3,000 armored fighting vehicles, including main battle tanks and infantry combat vehicles. The Defense Ministry has cleared Indigenous Weapons Program worth Rs 13,700 crore, which also includes acquisition of modernized version of Arjun battle tanks and increasing the protection level for over 3,000 armored fighting vehicles currently in service. Indian Army is planned to equip 13 to 14 armored regiments with active protection system with hard click capability. As per the proposal, all capital acquisition contracts other than design and development must be completed in two years. This decision was to ensure that the procurement process could be fast tracked and address the need of our armed forces. Now, as many of you would be aware that DRDO is working on an active protection system for the main battle tank. However, progress has been very slow. The project started way back in 2015. It has also been reported that DRDO has already developed the active protection system which use a laser warning system for Arjun Mark II which is now being called as Arjun Mark 1A as there will be no Arjun Mark II variant. However, the requirement of APS has changed from just being laser warning system to be able to detect the anti-armor projectiles using infrareds and radars and neutralize them. Now, DIDU is attempting to develop an APS that will have multi-spectral sensor including radars and lasers to cover wide variety of threats and velocities or anti-tank ammunition ranging from a speed of 70 to 240 meters per second. This system is expected to have engagement range of 50 to 150 meter and quick reaction time to effectively neutralize before 50 meter. The APA system being developed by DRDO will be able to intercept targets accurately when the armored vehicle is in both static and dynamic condition and it will also be safe for nearby troops and issue audio-visual warning during activation of countermeasure. This system will also have simultaneous multi-directional multiple threat detection and neutralization capability with very high hit probability around 95% and will provide 360 degree hemispherical protection coverage. The active protection system will be used in Arjun tank and T-90 tanks of Indian Army as well as the armored personal carriers under development. In last few months, we have observed good progress in the APS development. In April 2022, DRDO's lab LRD has released RFI for the active protection radar. This radar will be used to detect and automatically track anti-tank rockets, anti-tank guided missiles and tank rounds. The active protection radar is a key element of APS which can be installed on the main battle tanks and armor protection carriers for the early warning against the anti-tank ammunition fired. It will have 360 degree coverage to detect even the top attack. The radar along with the hard kill measures can be used to protect tank and its crew members. Recently, LRT has also issued another tender for ballistic protection in close with the domes for expand radars of DRDO's APS with production of STNAG level 3. Astra Microwave, which has won the contract for APS components development from DRDO, has told that the APS development is in progress 
and they will hand over the system to DRDO by the end of financial year 2023. Post this, DRDO APS will undergo no cost, no commitment trial, which may take another one to two years to clear for production. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.